Hi there, welcome to Living Light Channel. I hope everybody's doing good out there. Today I'm going to share with you some scripture out of the Bible. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. It's Psalm chapter 46 verse 1. So I'm going to be reading from Exodus 20, chapter 20. It's the Ten Commandments. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage and slavery. Thou shalt not have any other gods before me. Thou shalt not make any unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Six, and showing mercy unto the thousands of them that love me, and keep my commandments, worship, and bringing down. 7. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember, 8, sorry, remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. So, Friday at sunset until Saturday at sunset, God wants your undivided attention. He doesn't want you to work. He wants you to spend time with Him. It doesn't say in the Bible that you can't play. It says no work. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, God's work. Ten. But the seventh day... <coughs> Sorry, is the Sabbath of the love of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor their maidservant, nor their cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. 11. For six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is that in them is and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that the days that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. 13. Thou shalt not kill. 14. Thou shalt not commit adultery. 15. Thou shalt not steal. 16. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. 17. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. So that's a pretty intense... Uh, commandments uh, it's pretty easy to live by just do good be good to yourself be good to others and help when you can God bless you guys have a great night